Morning all. It's 1.30 in the morning. I don't know how many times I've tried to make this video, so I hope this is going to be the bloody last time. Anyway, before I continue, I do want to discuss and show off some My Little Pony stuff. So if you don't want that and you want to go to the uh, technical part of the video, we'll discuss... Thank you. Some things about computers and whatnot, then feel free to skip ahead. If not, sit back, relax, and we'll go talk about some ponies, shall we? First, I need to go to the bedroom. That's where they all are. Hey, look, shadow. Right, so. I got a little bit of cash this morning because I sold a bike to one of my brother's friends. So, to complete my six Formosa plushies, I went and got Pinkie Pie. And I also went and bought that figure set with um, Apple Bloom and Bab Seed. Bloom, rather not Bloom. Apple Bloom and Bab Seed. There we go. I'm getting tired. <laughs> So uh, that set there was actually two ninety nine. dollars I've also, because I got fed up with them falling on my head, bought the erasers through here. Lyra. And where is she? Um, I'm getting shadows, aren't I? There she is. Flurry Heart as well. And, uh, you know, I saw that meme pop up again. Where people, or where it says, you know, it has a photo of um, Hasbro licensed toys and then fan made toys and people basically say you know why can't Hasbro make good looking toys like the fan made ones well there's a reason for that Hasbro licensed toy companies to produce you know all their toys. That's what these are all designed as. They're designed as toys. They're designed to be easily manufactured and to be manufactured at a budget as well. Which is why you will find when you look at these blind bag figures there's a lot of um, same moulds but read colours. If you look at this one then you look at this one they're exactly the same mould, exactly the same tail, mane, etc. Exactly the same pose, in different colours. And there's another one there. There's another one there, just got a face in the other way, and she's a transparent type one. It's some of the, well, the ones they've done, you know, the main characters in the show, like Derpy here, Sora and Zakora, Lotus, Minuet, Lyra, etc. Most of them actually have, you know, their own individual moulds. But it's usually these ones that are part of the, um, I believe, characters from the game. One of the games. Uh, except here, you know, there's a Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and I've got a Fluttershy and Twilight as well. They're all based on the common moulds up there. Apart from this Twilight and the Rainbow Fide flutters there but even the um, squishy pops over the back there are all done the same because it's just, they can manufacture them a lot faster so they can get out numbers units you know they can make whatever number of units they have to make in a day because that's how factories work you know they have a they have that schedule and what not to work to. And these kind of toys are done exactly the same way. Anyway, these Formosa ones, these are cheap. These I paid $6.99 each for these. And if you look at this one there, that's a TY Babies one. Um, she's actually a little bit shorter than the Formosas. But she costs $12.99. But she does have her wings, whereas this Formosa one doesn't. She, this one, 
this Fluttershy, you know, she's meant to have wings, she's a Pegasus, doesn't have them. Rainbow Dash, doesn't have the wings. Twilight is an Anacorn, no wings. <laughs> uh, actually, speaking of Twilight, I think this one is my favourite Twilight plush. I've got four. got this one, the Build-A-Bear, the Famosa, and the Ollie Factory one. These Ollie Factory cuddlies are my favourites, to be honest. But that one, the colour of the mane is wrong. And of course there's no wings, but that may have been before she became an alicorn. But I really do like this one. This one actually came from the US. It's an Aurora branded one. Yeah. Aurora Wild something or other. I can't quite read it. I need two hands. We got the nice wings. I don't know. I really do. This one... I really do like. So yeah, out of my Twilights, that one's my favourite. My Fluttershies, I think, because I've got four Fluttershy plushies as well, and I think I'd actually have to go with saying my Ollie Factory is my favourite there. But Ollie Factory do a lot of the... Um, lesser characters as well you know the ones that appear here and there not exactly background characters but the ones that appear here and there like Coco, Trixie, even Octavia has you know Chrysalis the bad guy focus you bitch thank you Sunset although she's not strictly speaking canon because she's only in Equestria Girls but they've done the um, pony version of her Three rarities. I've got that funny, ugly one there. I don't know. I really hate this. The head, the mane, and the tail. Great. You know, it's got the metal wire in there, so it gets that the proper curl. But it's just the eyes. Look, eyes and the head. It just looks weird to me. Anyway, I think my favourite there would be that one. My nine pounds fifty one. And. Uh, my brony friend uh, Mark Hyder was bidding on one on eBay because the rarity ones are quite hard to find in the Builder Bears. And uh, the one he was trying to bid on finally went for £32. Well, if I had the camera on, when I read that in the messages, my jaw would have literally, you know, dropped. £32. I paid £9.50 for mine. And she's got the um, gala cape and uh, she's got the um, sound box in her as well. And it works. <laughs> I paid £9.50. I feel like I got a total bargain there with her. I really do. I didn't even realise when I bought her that she was a rare one to get hold of. <sighs> anyway. That's the pony side done. I'm going to move on. I've got a computer project I want to get done. I've had this one for over a year, I think, like a lot of them. <laughs> it is a Dell. I think it's a Dell Optiplex. I can't remember. And I can't find the sticker with it on now, but I want to get this working. Um, it's only one of those dinky little... Um, PCs that you'd find on the desk in a library or something, you know, when you have the public computers in a library. Or if you went into the reception, say, in an office block or whatever, they very often had a computer like this sat on top of the desk. But I don't know what it is, I just like it. <laughs> it's got the fan missing, so it throws a hissy fit. But, uh, I did take quite a large gamble with that, because that came with all the other random computers I bought all that time ago. Um, but it didn't come with its power supply, because it's got an external power supply. Probably because there's no room to put one in here, so it's got an 8-pin plug there. Uh, the power supply, I think, I think it's still in my closet there. So I had no idea if this worked. And I had no power supply, so I had to go on eBay and buy one. It wasn't actually too expensive. But anyway, I 
got the power supply, plugged it in, and it does actually power up. But I've had this project sitting on the back burner for a while, and as I'm going to sell my other Windows 7 rig, because uh, I want a bit of cash anyway, because there's some Lego I want, I think I'll use that on Lego, whatever I can get for it. Uh, I figured I might as well just build that one up and get that one working. And just use it as like a, a spare computer for now. Not that I really need it, because I've got my Acer laptop there. So, if that one did, for whatever reason, crap out on me, I've at least got that laptop to turn to. Uh, it is set up with all my main websites, none of my comics or anything that I like to read online. But it's set up with the main important sites, like eBay, my email, YouTube, Netflix, <laughs> Facebook, Gumtree, all of that, and Skype, so I can chat to my friend who's actually messaged me, probably going to bed, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've always liked that little Dell in the bedroom, so I want to get that done. Uh, what else? Oh. That steering wheel and pedals. Where are the pedals? There are the pedals. They're on Gumtree as well. £10 can take them. I don't want them. I don't know why I bought damn things in the first place. But I will warn you now, whatever doesn't sell, I would post that steroid. I may actually put that on eBay because I will post it. It will go via my Hermes. Bollocks, I can't because I've got no ink. Actually, I might be able to do one more on the ink that I've got because it's not totally out yet. It's the black one. But uh, I do need to get some ink, but I can't do that this week because I haven't got enough cash. <laughs> Never mind. Um, anything else tech related? Nope. I am just going to open up Gumtree though because uh, I want to drop the price on my desktop. I'll put it up at 70 quid, but uh, I think that's a bit too high to be honest. Someone give me 50 quid, they can take it. Um, there is one thing that really ticked me off. Well, two things that ticked me off today, really. One, I heard back from Victory. They will fix my toilet. Um, but they will charge me. <laughs> uh, or they said in the email reply, I could get it done myself, but they would want it done within 28 days, and they would want to check it. Uh, either way, I can't afford it. I could let them fix it, let them invoice me, and appeal it, but I don't want that sort of messing around you know, and besides, I've already glued that chunk back in. And I think with a little extra glue on there, which I'll do before I go to bed so it can dry while I'm asleep, and some silicon sealant, and I think that would actually be fixed without having to fork out, you know, however much a friggin' toilet bowl costs. And then there's the call out charge, and then there's the labour on top as well. So you're probably looking at at least 300 quid to replace that toilet and it's probably at least a half day's job to do it as well so using a tube of glue that I already had and a few quid on a tube of silicon sealant to seal it up compared to 
you know, three, four, five hundred quid <laughs> to get it fixed properly. If it holds, great. If it doesn't, I'm screwed. <laughs> Uh, and the other thing is, you may remember, I kept getting that friend coming over, bugging me to build this poxy computer for him. Um, which I pretty much bent over backwards to do for him. You know, and sacrificed one of my own video cards for him. Shush. You know, just so he had a decent computer to use to do his job search on and play his uh, My Summer Car on, etc. You know, I put the Wi-Fi card in there and whatnot for him to use and, like I said, sacrifice the bloody video card out of my Windows 7 machine over there. Only for him to go and sell it a week later. Literally a week later. So, that did tick me off because I did it for him. It ticked me off even more because it's the second time he's done it. And he's also done it with at least two laptops he swapped with me. Granted, he swapped them with me, so, you know, technically his, he can do what he bloody like. You know, and he did give me things and whatnot in return for doing this PC, but that's not the point. Uh, yeah. I put a lot of work, effort and time and put up with being bugged almost every evening to get that PC done. Just for him to go and sell the fucking thing. So, I do feel a bit, you know, used. I don't know if that's what he intended, you know, if he intentionally wanted to use me, but I do feel used, to be honest. The reason he was trading me random shit, basically, was just to get other things that he could go and sell. You know, I could have still had my Alienware laptop. Ho-hum. Uh, the other thing, I was in Black Records with my little brother. And, um, uh, yeah. excuse me one minute, shut up, let's turn the volume off, and uh, we found a box of just random computer junk upstairs, he's got all sorts in there, but anyway, he's got this box of computer junk, um, pretty much everything in his shop is for sale, even if it doesn't have a price sticker on it, <laughs> uh, so there is a computer up there that I was interested in, but I'm not sure. Because I want to make a Windows 98 computer, you see, but I'm not sure if that would be suitable. I'll have a look when I go in Thursday. But anyway, I had this box a bit. We were looking through it, and uh, the owner came up, you know, and he sort of stuck his head in it, and he was like, 20 quid if you want it. <laughs> and uh, that was a good price. There's four um, GPUs in there. Three of them are PCIe's. So I'm interested in that box just for those, and I hope they work. Uh, I can probably test them on my Windows 7 machine over there. Uh, in fact, they'd have to be tested on that one, because one of them is a long one and it won't go on mine. Um, one's an AGP, there's a couple of IDE hard drives, a few other sort of interesting little trinkets hidden in this box as well. But I think it's worth it just for the, even my brother said, it's worth that just for the video cards. If they work. Of course he's right, I, if they worked I could easily just stick them up on eBay and double my money. Because my brother said, you know, they're worth at least £10 each. <laughs> them video cards. Even the old AGP ones. They can fetch a pretty penny on eBay. And I've got several in my box through there. But again, I keep them because that's the sort of thing that can fail and 
my Sony here doesn't have onboard video, so I have to use one. And of course, it's AGP. So that's why I keep those. In fact, I did have to fix one of those. There's like a little um, clock crystal thing that had come off on one of those cards. Or one end had come off, so I just literally tacked it back down with a soldering iron. It's not the best job, but it's holding it at least. Uh, anyway. I've got a monitor that I want to dismantle in the kitchen. Because uh, I was going to throw it out anyway. A CRT monitor, that is. And my old toaster, because that had crapped out, so I was going to throw that out. So I just decided to have a bit of fun with a lump hammer. It made one hell of a mess in the kitchen that I had to clean up. Oops. But I thought before I actually chuck the monitor completely, I'll um, open it up and we can have a peek inside. But on that note, I think I'm going to shut down the video. No, I'm not. I was told yesterday that the lad that I'm trading these um, barricade lamps with has posted his side of it. Um, I can't do my side till Thursday because I am skint. I've actually got £10 in my wallet from selling a second bike today, but that is it. <laughs> and I've got to feed myself tomorrow because I actually haven't... I've eaten the last of my um, pie and chips that I had in the freezer, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, I've got to feed myself. But, uh, yeah, as promised, it will be posted Thursday. Along with the other one I've got for another friend of mine to post off. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll pack the boxes up tomorrow so it's ready to go Thursday. But, uh, it's not going to leave me a great deal to play with unless I can sell a few things. I've got several things for sale on Gumtree. Well, how many ads have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I've got six. Oh, hang on. I've got five. I just remembered I can delete that one. Oh, yeah. I've got to re, -re list that one as well. <clears throat> right. Oh, I'm running out of battery again. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. And enjoyed the video uh, so if you did feel free to hit that like button if you didn't then feel free to whack the dislike button and uh, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to then feel free to subscribe but uh, yeah there was something else I was gonna say and I can't remember oh yeah if you got any comments feel free to drop one in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye bye.